First, I want to thank everyone for watching my presentation. Today, I will talk about the general information about Korean, then about how we can apply that information to the workplace. Personally, I do not know a lot about Korean, but I have been to South Korea, and I'm also a fan of Korean food. Last week, I went to two different Korean restaurants. I've put a picture on the right corner of the slide. Here is just a small variety of Korean food. On the left is the general list of the popular types. Here is, is the agenda of my topic. In the following, I will concisely introduce Korean cultures and its application to the workplace. Generally, Koreans can be separated into North Korea and South Korea. On one hand, the North Korean economy implement communism and which government control all trading activities. However, the system caused their economy to perform badly. On the other hand, the South Korean economy implement capitalism in which individuals control business trading. Thus, people have the incentives to work hard and South Korea have become a developed country. Besides, both North and South Korea share the same language. Officially, South Korea and North Korea are both atheist states and there are small communities of Buddhists and Christians. According to the website Place Explorer, the South Korean population is about 51 million worldwide in 2020. North Korean population is about 25 million worldwide in 2020. Most Koreans distribute in Korean Peninsula. Based on the study conducted by Professor Singh Bennett at Adat Valley University, he introduced the four primary characteristics of Korean cultural values. First, Koreans often listen to their parents and obey to families. Second, the majority of Koreans can be seen as hardworking. Third, when dealing with any problem, Koreans will put their family concern as the first consideration. Lastly, both Koreans are serious about proper decorum, such as never point your trust According to the investigation done by elderly in block culture, there are both positive and negative stereotypes about Korean. Here are three positive stereotypes. First, people generally think Koreans can speak English well. Second, Korean food is delicious. Third, all Koreans like K-pop. However, there are also negative stereotypes about Koreans. First, many Koreans may get plastic surgery. Second, people often think that all Koreans have small eyes. Now that we know a little more about Korean in general, we will turn our attention to Korean in the workplace. According to Asian Lee Business, they conclude three Korean business adequate. First, Koreans tend to respect age and status, and everyone has a role in society as a result of hierarchy. Second, appearance is very important. Thus, Koreans tend to dress more formally than Australians. Third, Koreans are sensitive about geopolitical presentation. Korea and Japan dispute about several islands in the sea for many decades. Thus, using inappropriate presentation may lead to business relationships ceasing. Based on the study done by Alien team, there are several aspects derived from Korean verbal and nonverbal messages. First, in Korean culture, they often put family name first when addressing people. Second, when people have a business negotiation, they often start with small talk. Third, alcohol is a traditional interpersonal tool in any relationship. Lastly, when talking to someone, structure are also critical. For example, don't point at anything with your finger in nonverbal message. Next, we will talk about some Korean per interpersonal skills. According to the article, How to Greet in Korean, there are four useful strategies. First, Koreans often use business cards to introduce themselves. It often allows them to quickly present their position, title, and rank. Second, Koreans bow and handshake with seniors to show greeting and respect. Third, if you are invited to Korean dinner, then you should take gifts, which is the important 
of a relationship. Lastly, Korean business people are often good negotiators, so you have to be patient and gentle. Next, we will talk about what you should consider when working with Korean in a team. Here are some suggestions provided by the Asian Link business. First, you should respect gender equality. Second, develop your emotional intelligence to be aware of yourself and others. Third, try to understand and share the feeling of others. Lastly, we should respect everyone's ideas and people's identities. Finally, we will talk about Korean's custom and tradition. First, Koreans often work hard longer, far longer hours than waiting in the employees' contracts. They always leave the office before their boss has left. Second, South Korean culture applies clear hierarchical structure, so it's often hard for you to say no to those with seniority over you, and sometimes your seniors may even be purposely bookies just before because you are new. Today we have discussed the general information about Korean like cultural values and stereotypes as well as some tradition and attitude related to this group. We also talked about the underlying rules and working etiquette associated with Korean workers and how we can best respect each other. I will end by teaching you the simple Korean term thank you. It pronounced as 감사합니다 and 감사합니다 and thank you